Look at this, there are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, I took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos, you'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where we talk about everything crypto daily. If you came into cryptocurrency to make life-changing money, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to help you. I'm going to keep you updated daily on the news and moves of markets, Bitcoin technical analysis, all coin setups. Jumping right into the market today in crypto, Bitcoin breaking out. Bitcoin, big moves for Bitcoin. It's great. It's amazing. It was a, it was a long month. Long month, nothing really happening here. So it's good to see some upside out of the king of cryptocurrency. This is the daily chart. This pattern, we've been talking about this downtrend, right? I mean, still needs to put in a high higher than the previous high over here. However, head in the right direction right now. This is the 21 simple moving average right here previously crossed the 50 moving average, simple moving average, okay? And so you see, you got a significant move to the upside. Potentially, we have the same type of situation here where the 21 is headed uh, above or about to cross the 50 bullish. Potentially there's, there's more upside. There's no volume. Where's the volume at? I know it's a weekend. I know it's the weekend, but where is all the volume at? I need volume confirmation on this. We're gonna look at some lower term time frames, see what the volume looks like there. Also, a lot of the indicators, they can be just look at the stochastic real quick. See how it gets it gets pegged, right? You get it gets pegged, and sometimes these indicators, so even though the stochastic RSI is overbought, I mean you, you could get a quick pullback like you saw here, but it could stay pegged up here uh, for a period of time. So you get this type of uh, run up and then continuation higher. So again, those are some ideas we're watching for. This is a four hour chart. So we talked about this idea uh, with this triangle. We were, we've been in you know, for a month and the measured move, the measured move target here is 12,200. 12,200 is the target. We just have to take it level by level. Is it gonna be a straight shot all the way up? Well, it's been pretty quick so far. However, you know, your indicators are screaming like, hey, we gotta cool off. It's like you're, uh, your check engine light on your car comes on and it's like, it's overheating, it's overheating, it's overheating. Sometimes, like over here, I mean, when this, when FOMO kicks in, when people are chasing these green candles, like these indicators it can stay pegged over bought. So again, right now, Bitcoin broke above this, this trend line we've been talking about, as well as broke out of this triangle, broke above all this uh, resistance and above the cloud. So. We got a ton of, of price action right in here. And this is a very bullish candle for a break to the upside. I mean, it essentially engulfed quite a few of these uh, other candles, right? So bullish green, bullish engulfing candle right here. So nice, nice move for the bulls out of Bitcoin. Shorts are getting destroyed right now. Shorts got destroyed. CME Bitcoin futures. This is a four hour chart. I drew this the other day, ascending triangle. And this is 
one of the better looking patterns. It's valid, it's got plenty of touches. Now, CME Bitcoin futures are closed right now, so there will be a gap potentially, depending on what Bitcoin does all weekend, there will be a gap to the downside below the price action. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person stated, I wanna thank you for guiding me through my journey. I've made $5,000 in the last two days. I took your advice, I watched your videos. And this person made 400% gains on 20X leverage with Rune last night. This person stated, I couldn't even draw a triangle three weeks ago. I'm making gains and it shows how good your videos are and your teachings are. Again, he's up $632 today on a you know $4,700 portfolio. So again, amazing gains. This person, these are all from last night while I slept. This is unreal. Uni, 258%. 110% out of AVAX had to set up on this. SXP had to set up on this. 194% gains on SXP. If you want to join the trading group, go to my website, cryptorev.net, for all the information. If you previously emailed me, the wallet addresses that I sent you have been updated. So again, before you send crypto payments, go to cryptorev.net for the correct new updated deposit addresses. Let's make some money. This person reached out to me. He's like, Chris, I don't know what you're talking about. You can't trade on a cell phone in bed. I do just fine. He's got back to back to back to back cell phones and a tablet. He's just, I want to see what his, his power strip looks like. He's just got it. Whoa. He's got brownouts in the house going on. Cause he's trading, he's trading Bitcoin. Like who needs multiple monitors? He just has five phones in the bed. Just like tossing them everywhere. Anyways, pretty cool to see this. I love when you guys reach out. These pictures definitely paints a, a vivid picture of what's going on out there in the cryptocurrency space. Donald Trump pumps Bitcoin inadvertently. Check out this tweet. So he's going on Rush Limbaugh, whatever. Then he says, panic situation, relief, negotiations are moving along. Go big. Now, what is he talking about here? Go big. He wants these markets to rebound. He knows that a strong stock market's gonna bring the voters out. Gonna bring the voters out. When Donald Trump says go big, we got these negotiations going on and Bitcoin's pumping. It's a good feeling. Fear and greed index, neutral. Not greedy, but neutral. So sentiment's changing. Fear last week, fear last month. Now people are starting to become less fearful. Now this this pump, I mean, look at these shorts got completely destroyed. Everybody, I'm watching all these groups and just all these people, they're just shorting Bitcoin. Everyone's trying to short Bitcoin, short Bitcoin, and everybody's just getting destroyed because it keeps on next leg up, next leg up, next leg up, next leg up. So this is a short squeeze. Is this a, is this a short squeeze? Is that what this is? Shorts get squeezed. They got to cover. So they start buying longs when this happens. Kava comes out. Pay attention to this. Kava Gateway Testnet 11K launch happens on the 12th. Okay, then Kava validators are going to run and test for production setup to ensure a smooth mainnet launch on October the 15th. So Thorchain came out. This is Rune we were talking about, right? Uh, one of Weiss ratings picks for the month. Uh, this is their decentralized exchange. Askar Dex is coming. Screenshot of the UI of the Askar Dex. Interesting name. Ripple offers XRP loans. They launched a crypto lending service called Line of Credit. That's a unique name. Like <laughs> it should be like Ripple Burger, Ripple Sushi. Where's the where's 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 the freaking where do these freaking DeFi coins come up with this? I mean, who would have thought of Line of Credit? Like it's simple, states the facts. You know what it's doing. Billionaire Tim Draper invests in India's crypto exchange, Uno Coin. So again, billionaire for a reason. SBI Security is gonna release a digital corporate bond using blockchain. Tyler Winklevoss believes that a $1.8 trillion stimulus proposal could send Bitcoin to the moon. I'm ready, buckle up, moon ready. Let's go, moon edition. Bullish on Bitcoin. So Peter Brandt, he sold, he dumped all of his Bitcoin last month. He turned bullish on Bitcoin now, and he claims that the weekly and the daily charts are poised for a big bullish signal. Big bullish signal. Sounds good. So Everpedia tweeted this. Dracula Protocol aims to be the one 
tool to farm it all. So three days after the launch, the DeFi protocol surpassed $60 million in total value locked. Do your own research. DRC, Dracula Protocol. AST chart. So AirSwap, this is a rumor, total rumor. Do your own research. It's already pumping. Might obviously continue higher. Just if this is even real, this is true. If this plays out. AST, AirSwap, is rumored to be the MetaMask decentralized exchange default protocol. And if it's true, expect some money to flood into AST in the coming days. Now, YFII, excuse me, had a solid setup on this posted by the breakout of the bull flag. These are easy. Like if you miss the initial move on these, which it's, it's almost impossible. I mean, you're buying, if you're trying to catch the initial moves here and here, would have just rolled over, right? So how do you know that this is going to continue higher versus just roll over? Wait for some of these bull flags to form. You had one here, had one here. You know, this is a setup I posted in the group. Boom, move to the upside. Could have got about 33% gains out of this guy. Link, the game changes when Bitcoin breaks bullish. You know, there was potential downside for Link, and now, hey, Bitcoin is the game changer. You have to be able to flip and say, hey, you know what? Things are changing, and it happens in a second in crypto. Setup was posted. Boom. Move to the upside. You're looking for these retests. If you miss this move, no big deal. You miss this double bottom, that's fine. This, I was waiting for this retest and it came back down here, came back down here and retested. Then it flagged and then boom, move to the upside. Link, now it's screaming, hey, I need a, I need a pullback. I need, I need a, there's, there's bearish divergence on here. I need some type of retracement. You know, so it would be bullish to see some type of pullback and then boom, continuation to the upside. I tweeted this on Twitter. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, crypto BTC underscore Chris. This is the Ethereum DeFi map. Lending uh, coins and ideas and projects, stable coins, oracles. Finance is back. All coins, all coins are really bad. Look at this. 90% gains, 50% gains, 30, 28, 26, 21, 19, 17, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Bitcoin is pumping. And alts are too. It's a beautiful thing. Now, Bitcoin dominance has, so I posted this before this break to the downside. Now, Bitcoin dominance is pumping. And so when this happens, it means money is leaving the altcoins and going back into Bitcoin. And so when Bitcoin pumps, alt BTC pairs take a hit. There are situations where if Bitcoin dominance completely explodes along with Bitcoin price, all altcoins all altcoins can get wrecked. Now, it doesn't happen very often. And when it does, a lot of times people are confused. Like, what's happening here? Why are altcoins dropping, but Bitcoin's pumping? Just saying, if going forward at some point, we're going to have a situation where Bitcoin pumps so hard that people will sell their altcoins and ride Bitcoin. Now, this happened on the April Fool's rally last year. Everybody, all, the, all your altcoins were double-digit red, basically. Bitcoin's pumping hard. And so just remember, that's a scenario that has happened. Not saying it's going to happen, but it, it has happened. And, and just so you understand, or what causes this is you get these cascading effects of, of people getting stopped out, right? People get stopped out and it just becomes market chaos as far as the altcoins go. And everybody's essentially riding Bitcoin at that point because Bitcoin surges to 11,400. Two factors that are influencing the surge. This person stating, you know, essentially it's a short squeeze. You know, Also this person, they're talking about Stimulus news likely driving Bitcoin higher. Potentially, if you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.